What I want to show you today is how to make vector color separations in Adobe Illustrator. This is mainly for the purpose of cleaning up your files. It'll also make it really easy to do colorway options. And you can also use this to manually generate color separations for screen printing. However, we're not going to get too far into that. We're not going to set up registration marks or outputting this art to films or anything like that. But let's go in here and I'll show you how this design is set up. First of all, I'm just going to turn off these little color swatches I have here. And in the main art, you'll see there's a border and it's just kind of a solid border piece that I've turned white to match the background. There's also a sun here that's just white. There's some mountain art and then there's these color bands. There's some live type and these horizontal lines here are strokes. The first thing I'm going to want to do is let's just select everything and then go object expand appearance and then object expand click OK then you're going to want to go to object expand one more time and as long as you see this window keep popping up just keep doing that so I'll click OK and then go object expand and that window is no longer popping up so ready to use the merge tool in Pathfinder so what I want to do here is just tap this merge button and first of all we're going to want to get rid of the white in there so let's double click and then with our direct selection tool our white arrow tool just select a little bit of that white and then go select same fill color and then just hit delete so that deleted everything that's white now the next thing we want to do is select another color so let's do this dark brown with our direct selection tool go select same fill color and then Command X or Control X if you're on a PC. And we can double click on our artboard to get out of isolation mode. And this is optional, but if you want to paste these colors into different layers, you can make a new layer and then go Command Shift V to paste in place. And also make sure to group that. So Command or Control G. Let me turn off this layer so it'll make it easier for you to see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to run through this with other colors. So let's do the tan here. Direct selection, just select a little bit. Select same fill color, Command X, make a new layer, Command Shift V, and group it. And I'll run through the other color bands and then show you where to go from there. Okay, so now it looks like I just have this one yellow color left. But if I select everything, you'll notice how there's question marks on the fill and stroke over here. And that just means we have some extra strokes that are unneeded. So let's, again with the direct selection tool, select some of that yellow, select same fill color, and then select inverse. And we just want to hit delete to get rid of all that junk. So now if I turn on all these other layers, you'll see we have our graphic and everything's in a separate layer. If you've locked any of these layers, make sure to unlock them. And the other thing we want to do here is let's try a colorway. So I've got my little color swatches. You can see how these color swatches correlate to the colors that are in this design. So what I want to do here is let's, let's just highlight all of these layers and then drag down to duplicate those. And what we can do is use these little radio buttons here to select all these layers. I'm holding down the shift key and let's just drag this to the left. And so what I'm going to do here is let's select this bottom color band and let's use our eyedropper tool to sample that blue. And then we'll just run through all these colors. And there you go. That's how to use the Pathfinder merge function to separate your colors in Adobe Illustrator.